In this video, we are going to look into one-way ANOVA or one-way analysis of variance. We will look into how to run, interpret and report one-way ANOVA. Now one-way analysis of variance or one-way ANOVA, how and why it is used. As mentioned before in previous videos, one sample t-test is used to compare mean of a sample against some standard value or mean of the population. Independent samples t-test is used to compare if there are differences in the sample mean for two different groups. What if you have three different groups or more than three different groups and you want to check whether there are significant differences across the three different groups. Now one way analysis of variance is also referred to as one way between groups ANOVA because you will have one independent that is your grouping variable with three or more levels the groups and one dependent continuous variable. In simple words one way ANOVA is used to compare scores of three or more than three groups. Now following are a few scenarios in which you could consider using one way ANOVA. For instance an economist would like to know if there are differences in income of lecturers across the cities of London, Paris and Islamabad. Or is there a difference in optimism level scores across different age groups. Or a manager wishes to evaluate if staff satisfaction scores differ across permanent, part time or and casual staff. Now in each of the above mentioned situations there is one dependent variable and an independent variable that has a different categories. One way ANOVA allows evaluating or checking for differences across the different categories for the dependent variable. For instance, in this case, for in maybe uh, the income evaluated across three different cities. So your income is your dependent variable, whereas the independent variable is the uh, number of cities or the cities in this case three cities it is called analysis of variance because it compares the variance variability of scores between the different groups believed to be due to the independent variable now how do you run this now in order to run one way now in Jamovi, let's first import our data so what we do is just press this go to import Browse. Here is our data. Okay. And here it is. So let's. Uh, okay, we do not need these three columns already uh, that are part of Jamovi, so just delete them. Okay. So what we are trying to do is we are trying to establish if organizational commitment differs across different job ranks. So since we are looking at differences in organizational commitment among different job ranks, we are going to use one way ANOVA as described earlier. So what you need to do is just click ANOVA and select one way ANOVA. OC is our dependent or criterion variable in which we want to evaluate the changes. Select this and rank is our grouping variable. And it's loading while we can have homogeneity test, normality test, or QQ plots. We can have post hoc tests. Let's see the variances and then we'll decide whether we have to check for unequal variances or equal variances. We can have significant comparison flagged as well. We can have T statistics and degree of freedom, descriptive table. We do not need the descriptive plot, or here are our one way ANOVA results. Yes, there are significant differences in organizational commitment between three job ranks. If we see the mean, junior has got the lowest organizational commitment as expected. Middle level has got obviously higher than or in between junior and middle. And senior has got the highest level of organizational commitment. Overall, the results are significant because the p-value is less than 0.05. And if you look at the assumption check, there is homogeneity of variance, unequal homogeneity of variance because the p-value is less than 0.05. It, if this would have been greater than 0.05, we would have said equal variances assumed. Now in this case, we can't use Ducky, but we can go for Games Howell, unequal variances. And we can have individual differences between different groups as well. 
so junior and middle there are no significant differences but there are significant differences between junior and senior and same is the case with middle and senior so it gives out very filtered results uh, as in comparison to SPSS so this is how you can run one new ANOVA in Jamovi and now in order to interpret this let's go to a word document and what you can do is you can just select analysis and copy so let's say it's copied now so in order to well I've got a template here that I have made for SPSS so what you can do is just paste the results here first how do you report them so here is a template which I did for uh, SPSS and let's see what differences the output has with SPSS as well uh, the movie doesn't give 95% confidence interval let's see if it does again okay no it doesn't so our hypothesis or the problem to investigate if the organizational commitment differs across different levels within the organization that is junior middle senior keeping in view the problem of our hypothesis is there are significant differences in organizational commitment across different management levels now what the hypothesis does is it tests whether organizational commitment differs between junior middle and senior the ANOVA results suggest organizational commitment scores of the groups differ significantly so do they differ yes they differ so the p-value is 0 0.001 less than 0 0.001 and the f statistics is 14.7 so what you do is you simply type in 14.7 which is your f statistics and p-value is already same so since living statistic is significant which is yes it is significant so equal variance not assumed so we did post hoc tests using games howl the test indicated that the mean score for junior employees was significantly different from senior employees so is this the case and what are the mean scores mean score for junior is 4.88 standard deviation 1.377 senior employees mean is 5.85 and 0.86 middle level employees okay the test indicated that mean score for junior level employees was significantly different from senior level employees so yes the junior and senior had a significant difference and where is this difference reported in this table so the mean difference is 0.972 let's remove the extra decimal points significance is this so SPSS actually uh, the movie doesn't give these so let's remove them it's all combined so let's for now just like delete them from here and uh, so there is significant difference between middle and senior as well so 0 0.705 and the significant all other are insignificant so we are not reporting them in the table middle level is 5 point the mean is 5.14 the standard deviation is 1.25 Now the mean differences were significant at 0 0.05 level however no significant differences were detected between junior and middle level employees so if we see there are no significant differences between junior and middle level employees so these are the only comparisons that you can make when you've got three groups so this is how you can use Jamovi to run one way and over and report the results in uh, MS Word document for your thesis or your research paper. I hope the video would have helped you understand the concept of one way ANOVA and how to run it in the movie. Let's correct this mistake and good enough. Thank you very much.